Hey Newberg, I'm Kyle, your Director of Music and Worship Arts, and I have your Monday Minute for this week. First, there's a couple of things we want to remind you of. Uh, the first of which is the warmth drive is continuing, where we're connect, uh, collecting coats and sleeping bags for the Detroit Public School Systems. That's going to continue until November 6th. Also, we have Trunk or Treat coming up, and you are invited to bring your car, decorate your trunk, and pass out candy to the neighborhood kids. If you can't do that, uh, we are also collecting candy to help supplement uh, the candies we have, because last year we had tons of people here. You can drop those off in the, also in the box by the Welcome Center. Finally, uh, wading in with Pastor Chad is going to be starting a new study coming up on October 30th. On, that's on Sunday night, and you're more than welcome to join. Now, for this week's devotion, yesterday, if you were here with us in worship or if you uh, participated in the service online, you heard Pastor Chad talking about the Word, the Word of God. And that is, of course, right here, the Bible. This is one of my Bibles that I uh, keep with me here at the church. And I know a lot of people, whenever I, I talk to people about the, about the Bible, so many people say, you know, I've just, I've never read the entire Bible. And they talk about it like it's a big disappointment in their life. And I want to tell you, that is not a big disappointment. This thing is a hefty, hefty book. Even this small version has tiny pages and even smaller font because there's so much. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about the Bible today. This is, number one, this one book is not just one book. This is made up of 66 individual books. 66. And they are not, they don't even run concurrently. They don't run chronologically. Uh, each one of them are their own separate things. So to actually go through and read it from front to back, uh, it's, it's really difficult because it's hard to keep track of what are you reading and, and what are you trying to get out of this, this section. So let's talk a little bit about what these different sections are. There are different categories of books in the Bible. Now the first five books of the Bible um, are what we call the Pentateuch. Um, it's the law, uh, another word for it. Now, these five books, is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, they go back and forth between being narration about the creation of the earth, about God calling a certain people to himself, that people going to Egypt, and then being delivered from slavery in Egypt, the Israelites. It goes from that narration and to also the different laws that God gave them to follow, to help them learn how to be a holy nation. But the laws are more difficult because they're written for a specific people for a specific time and a specific reason, and they don't make a lot of sense for us. And it takes a lot of digging to even get stuff out of it. So if you get into like Leviticus and Numbers and you start getting lost in all of that, don't worry, that is absolutely normal. Now, the next 12 books are histories, and while they are mostly uh, chronological, they're not all completely chronological. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings are mostly chronological. Those all go, um, they follow one after another, but they also span a couple, like, hundreds of years, so uh, it's you, you'll notice that it jumps quite a bit. You know, I'll talk about like this one person for a paragraph, and then it says, after them came blank. That's a new generation almost. After those, um, first and second chronicles kind of backtracks and goes back to tell more about those kings. Um, so we, we get through the, some of those kings, we get through like Saul and King David and Solomon. First and second chronicles goes back and talks about some more of what like King David and King Solomon did. Now this those go through up until the Israelites are um, exiled into Babylon. So it goes up until basically Israel stops being a country uh, to itself. And the next three books, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther, are all written during the time that the Israelites were in exile. Uh, and they are, in, in, especially in Ezra and Nehemiah, they are coming back from exile. 
Now, the next five books we call wisdom books, or are also called poetry books. That's Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Songs. And these are all completely by themselves. They have no connection to others. Um, Job is, we th most scholars think, is the very first book of the Bible that was ever written. It's probably the oldest. Psalms, if you probably have read a little bit of them, those are 150 separate <laughs> bits of bits of scripture. Each one is a, is a whole thing to itself. Proverbs is a bunch of, mostly a bunch of quotes from uh, either King Solomon or some of the great kings. Um, and so reading through all of that is, is just like reading individual quotes that may or may not have to do with each other. They're just bits of wisdom. Ecclesiastes and Song of Songs are uh, are more poetry, but they they have a very specific purpose. One Ecclesiastes is telling is mostly a person telling about what life is like without God. Song of Songs is it's a kind of a metaphor. It's it's about two people being in love, but it's also about God's love for His people, the, and like how much He loves and the depths of His love. Uh, the next seventeen books are all prophets. Now these, a prophet was a person who had a very specific message from God for a sp very specific time and a very specific people or person. Uh, you'll notice a lot of these books, they start off with, um, during the reign of so-and-so, I got this message. And it was either, and they'll say it was for the people or it'll, it was for this particular king. That's exactly it. It's a very specific message. Um, a lot of these were written, most of these were written either uh, during the latest years of Israel's time being a, being a nation, before they went into exile, or during their time in exile. Um, and again, each one of these is very difficult to get through because there's um, specific messages, but there's also a lot of messages. You'll see uh, some like from either even chapter to chapter, you will see, you know, this was for this time, or this happened during this time, and I got this message. So it jumps around a lot, and it's, it's very difficult to get through. Um, now, after that, we finally get to the New Testament. But there's still many categories here of different books. The first four you might be familiar with, they're the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the Gospels are simply a telling of Jesus' life on earth. But even then, each one of these tellings, the authors were writing to specific people. For example, Matthew was writing to the Jewish people, trying to explain to them why Jesus was the Messiah. And so throughout his narrative, he also quotes the Old Testament a lot, trying to show the connections there. Whereas others, like Luke, Luke was writing to a very specific person who was a Gentile and trying to explain to him why Jesus was the Messiah, why he's the Savior, and what that means for a Gentile. So each of those are different, and that's, that's why they're different, is they're written for uh, specific reasons and by specific people. Um, you know, it's just like, you know, whenever you tell a story, it might be different from someone else how they tell a story. The next book, Acts, is, the, is actually the continuation of Luke's gospel. Luke continues writing, telling about the life of the church after Jesus died. He was resurrected. He starts off with the ascension of Christ into heaven and tells how the church spread from there. And it goes all the way uh, until Paul is arrested in Rome, um, which we know later he would be uh, executed there, but he or martyred there. Um, but it goes for several years talking about the journeys that the, the different apostles had in spreading the gospel to other places. Now, finally, we get to what we call the epistles. And epistles are simply letters. Now, these letters were written, again, to very specific people people are very specific churches. Uh, the first nine are Paul's letters to different churches, and they were meant to be read to the whole group. And you'll notice he starts each one with, this is a letter to these people. And at the end of most of them, he also talks about, hey, make sure you say hi to these people for me, you know, and, and, and I love them all and all that kind of stuff. He's writing to very specific people who had often very specific problems that they were going through. Um, again, that's why each one is different, because he has a very specific goal he's trying to attain. Uh, 
The next four, 1st, 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon, these are Paul's letters, but they're to individuals. Paul writing to Timothy, Paul writing to Titus, Paul writing to Philemon. And finally, the last nine are what we call general letters. They're um, from different authors. Hebrews, we're not totally sure who that author was. James was written by James. 1st and 2nd Peter, written by Peter. 1st, 2nd, 3rd John was written by John and Jude was written by Jude. And finally, Revelation, which is, again, another thing all by itself, um, that was a message that John got. So, all of this is to say is that to read the Bible from front to back, you're going to have a hard time because there's so many different things happening. It's jumping around chronologically. keep worshiping our great God together. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.